Testing, testing, one, two, three, and welcome to another episode of Tony Approved. I would like to take the time to say thank you so much for tuning in, you guys, and I'm going to go ahead and get started with our first topic being Queen B, who decided to be the legendary Tony Braxton for Halloween. Now, this was such a great look for Beyonce, and it showcases one of the many reasons why I truly love her. The fact that she's paying tribute to one of our Black living legends, especially while she's the top chick in the game, really showcases Beyonce's heart and her character. Beyonce represents love and respect and it really comes out in the choices that she makes and has been making in her career especially, especially here at Blately. I love that she called us kings and queens in her caption on Instagram that she used for the photo shoot and that she's always trying to do something inspirational to push the culture forward. I love that she included uh Beyonce also included the name of the song that went along with the pictures, another sad love song. And this was so dope because I know there's some kid out there who absolutely love Beyonce, but has never actually taken the time to listen to Tony Braxton. And because of this, they'll go, they'll listen to the song, and it'll bring more attention to Tony. And it's just, it's a great way that Beyonce is using her platform, and I just love her for it. And I'm not really too gung ho on the whole dressing up for Halloween thing, but this isn't the first time that Beyonce has used Halloween as a way to pay tribute to to some of our black living legends in the music industry you know last year she did little kim um she's done janet jackson with um she's done janet jackson with blue being michael and she's also done other characters as well she's done the black barbie with jay-z and blue um they've also been the family the first family from coming to america i love all of the inspirational things that beyonce likes to do um when she's dressing up she's very conscious on the decisions that she makes and i just love the fact that she uses her platform in such a positive way also tony braxton is going on tour right now so that even makes it even better it's like wow beyonce really took the time to pay tribute to someone who's legendary and help them bring some coins in as well so shout out to her for that while we're speaking about love r&b singer mario dropped his fifth album dancing shadows on october the 4th and he is currently starring on fox's empire as devon now i am a fan of empire and i think the character that mario is playing is a good addition to the show hopefully they'll keep him on as a main character for most of the season um, some of you may not know this, but Mario is one of my favorite male singers, just strictly off of his voice alone. In a different world, if I could choose any male singer that's currently in the industry to pick their voice, it would really honestly be Mario. His album, Dance in Shadows, this is the first album actually he's released in the last, um, this is the first album he's actually released in 10 years. And as a fan, I definitely wasn't disappointed. Mario's album stayed true to his R&B roots while he's still experimented a little bit to make sure that the sound stayed current. It kind of reminds me a little bit of how I felt the first time I was listening to Brandy's 211 album or when I listened to Luke James music. Um, on this album, Mario gives us the classic vocals that he has. He's definitely singing for real on songs like One Man Army, uh, the piano ballad I Care For You, and the Night Cruiser goes like that. There's this run that he does on the second verse of Too Many Options that have me like, okay, Mario, I hear you, man. I'm glad he's giving us soul on the album as well um, in his songs like Good Times. And you can hear a positive message in that record as well. And it's very uplifting. The song on his album, What You Started, oh man, I love that song because during the second half of it, there's an organ that comes in right before the bridge. And then all of these horns come in as he goes to exit from it into the chorus once again. And it's just so nice. I just love the arrangements of that song. Um, now, Mario did release this album independently under his own personal label, which is a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because he'll get all his money, but it's a bad thing but because it may lack a little bit of exposure. I think it was smart for him to put the album out before he debuted on Empire. And hopefully with the show being as popular as it is, it will boost people to actually listen to his album Dancing Shadows and bring a bigger audience to it. My Libra sister Cardi motherfucking B dropped her new single Money and I am loving it y'all. This beat knocks on this song and I like how you can really hear the aggression in her voice when she's rapping and it makes you feel like hell yes I gotta get out here and I gotta get this money. It's crazy because I remember Cardi was saying that the song was gonna drop on a Thursday and then I'm strolling through my uh, YouTube on my fire stick on Tuesday and boop 
there it is now she did say that the barbs helped to leak the track two weeks early but doesn't really matter to me i was thankful that we got it and the song is doing really really well right now it hasn't impacted imp it hasn't impacted radio court and cardi and she hasn't put out a video and it's number one on most of the streaming sites and if not number one in the top five so good shout outs good looking out to cardi um she says that she's going to be dropping her album soon and that makes me excited because honestly if cardi messes around and drops her new album before the end of the year that would mean that she dropped two albums in one year the album is going to be successful it's going to hit number one so she'll have two number one albums on the billboard top 200 in one year her debut and her sophomore I'm here for it. And while we're on the topic of Cardi, we can also mention Mr. Quavo, who dropped his album Quavo Hancho on October the 12th. Cardi is also featured on that album as well on a song with Madonna. I personally really like that song. I wish Cardi's verse was a little bit um, longer on it, but hey, I'll take what I can get. Um, I will, as far as Quavo Hancho's album, as far as Quavo Hancho, I'll tell you guys some things that I liked about the album. First off, it is it was a semi-surprise type album. Quavo had been saying that it was going to be coming out, but he didn't tell us exactly when it was coming. And then poof, like magic, it popped up. I like the album's artwork. I feel like it was very, it was very creative and artistic. I like the structure of the track list of the album when it comes to the features. I like the fact that he has Honcho Dreams, that's number three, then his song with Drake, then his song with Sweetie. I thought that was kind of cool, especially considering what he was talking about in Honcho Dreams and having Drake and Sweetie come right after the tracks. I like that he did different songs with his label mates. I thought it was clean to have one song with Offset, one song with Takeoff, especially since they're going to be doing the whole Destiny Child thing and all members come out with their own solo albums. The songs that stuck out me the most, um, I think Go All The Way um, is one of my favorite songs on the album. It really gets me moving and it's definitely a bop. Um, besides Champagne Rose with Cardi B, I think his intro track was really nice. I think it was a good opener for the album. I like the first track of the album. I think it was a great intro. I like the fact that he mentioned that the Amigos have created a sound that's so popular that other artists are asking them to create it for them. And that's honestly true. And the fact they was able to come in and take the game to the storm by storm. Shoot, they even inspired B&J. B&J is ape shit. So they're definitely, you know, going to be their sound will be submitted into this time period, into the culture. And I think that was really nice for him to put that at the beginning of his album. Hunter Dreams is one of the songs that got everybody talking about the album at first. And honestly, I like the fact that he put it on the album because he talked about how he felt about Nicki Minaj. I believe that real artists when they have issues with other people or have different issues in their life they put it in their music and that's what he decided to do so i wasn't really you know looking at him in these type of sideways about you know putting it to the forefront and especially because to me personally i really think that if nikki was fucking with quavo on that level i really wish everything would have worked out with them because honestly it would have been a great look for nikki for her to be associated with quality control and young money she would have definitely been killing the game out here and she wouldn't have to be so worried about cardi and what cardi is currently doing overall i would give this album a three and a half um as far as three and a half out of five stars um i actually really enjoy the album and i believe that it's going to get bigger and grow over time i did want to briefly talk about kanye west and his beliefs as of lately um just as my personal opinion you know i've worked on a psychiatric unit before and i'm currently in the mental health field and been a mental health tech and i can tell you kanye west is definitely off of his meds and i know that's kind of like a, a duh you can kind of tell but no it's really important to state because a lot of the things that he's saying and a lot of the things that he's doing is off meds behavior and when you most people don't know this but when you're on some type of psychotropic medications it kind of attaches its way to your brain stems and your brain cells the medication can become addictive as well psychotropic medication can make you feel especially when you've been constantly taking it like you can conquer the world like you really don't need it and then sometimes people go off of their medications and you have situations like kanye where they start saying a whole bunch of dumb stupid stuff that doesn't make sense or they're unable to really perfectly connect their ideas for other people you know to understand it 
my best advice for Kanye, I would just say please surround yourself by better positive people and take your medication. But of course, they say Kanye doesn't listen to anybody. It's really sad because he was definitely a strong advocate for the culture because before the culture was pushed forward and was quote unquote popular. So I really hope that Kanye West is able to get it together soon. The baddest bitch, Trina, dropped her new EP, Blue Magic, and it is really good. You guys, I am personally a fan of Trina. Um, she is one of the sweetest people that I personally met in person. And most of Trina's official mixtapes that she drops are honestly really good. But this particular EP was definitely different. It's only seven tracks and only like 20 minutes long. It will definitely make you want to listen to it over and over again, you guys, because Trina really did that. Like, this EP is really nice. Um, Trina has been teasing us with her sixth studio album, The One, for a while, but it seems like that was placed on hold when she joined Love & Hip Hop Miami to put out a Trick & Trina joint album. Now, neither one of the albums have seen a light of day yet, so Blue Magic definitely makes up for it. Um, what would I say my favorite tracks are? I really like the whole EP as a whole, honestly, but if I had to pick favorite tracks, they would probably be Thug Life, um, I'm sorry, Thug Song, featuring Little Bootsy and Chandelier featuring Cash Doll. Now, Trina had originally teased that she was going to have a Little Bootsy song on her album, so I believe that Thug song is that song. I think her and Bootsy sound really good together. Bootsy starts the song off and puts his own little swag on the song, and then Trina comes in talking her freak nasty stuff, so it definitely sounds really nice. Her song Chandelier, though, with Cash Doll, that song thumps, and I really hope that song goes to radio and gets a lot of publicity, because that song can be a really nice big song especially with two female rappers on them on that particular record both of them on there talking they jump it sounds nice it has a nice thump and once again i've never really i know who cash doll is but i haven't really listened to much of her music after listening to that record it made me want to pay more attention to cash doll's music and her come up which is of course the purpose of features this song needs a video and it needs to be really 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 majorly pushed um, I have talked to other fans of Trina. Um, a lot of people are feeling redemption um, and said that that is a really nice song and that they really like that. Um, so, yeah, Trina is definitely went hard with this EP. Oh, the other thing about Chandelier that I really like and I forgot to mention is that there is no singing on this song. They are both females that are rapping on the entire record and that's another reason why i really hope that it's pushed forward because we get joint female empowerment and we get real bars culture hip-hop finally usher dropped his joint album with producer zaytoven it's called a and it was released on august 11 2018 um this album only has eight songs on it and it was actually another surprise album as well and it was dropped on the same day as quavo's if i'm not mistaken a's album is definitely tony approved and i have several reasons as to why number one this is another one of those short albums that you can listen to on repeat over and over again because it's really good secondly i actually wasn't familiar with zaytoven the producer before this album and this is another example as to why joint albums and features actually touch uh actually work well because they touch both fan bases there is always someone who hasn't listened to one of the artists they're going to take the time to listen to it because someone that they are you know more used to are actually on the music as well comparing this album to usher's last album hard to love i personally believe that this was a nice follow-up um it's just a little bit more swaggier i've heard some of her, some of usher's major fans say that they feel like this album is more mixtapey and that they would prefer the real true r&b usher but hey you gotta let an artist grow um I really, really like both. I think it was a nice uh, follow-up album, if you ask me. My favorite songs off of the album would definitely have to be Peace On. That is a nice slow groove song, and Usher singing his ass off on that song. There are nice little runs that he's doing, so that's definitely sweet. Birthday is a great record. I like any birthday song, especially because birthdays are really important. I think you should always celebrate it, so I love when artists put songs out, especially for birthdays. Now, my favorite tracks off of the album would definitely be Say What You Want and gift shop say what you want is such a beautiful song i really like the lyrics of it and how usher's really singing it and how it matches with all of the piano keys that's in the back that zaytoven is adding it's, it just sounds really great and gift shop is just a nice bop like it just sounds really great it's a nice song i'm really big on artists ending their albums with nice songs with songs that are really good that makes you want to go back and re-listen to the whole album and that's exactly what that song does and it shouts out title which is i love i love to 
your artist shout out title and actually that is all i have for you guys in this video um i want to say thank you once again for you guys tuning in if you made it this far please make sure that you like and subscribe so you can share so this video can be shared with other people and you can stay up to date with all of the current things that are tony approved until next time thank you guys and god bless